The average cost of installing a solar and battery system in the UK is around £12,000, which for many can seem like a massive investment. In this video, we are going to visit three of our customers with different systems ranging from 15,000 to upwards of 50,000 pounds to answer the question, is solar really worth the investment? This is Steve. We installed this system back in May and we charged 17,750 pounds with an estimated payback of around eight years. We installed this system around four months ago. We're back here today to check in with the customer see how they're getting on, see if they've noticed any benefits yet. Let me quickly show you around the system. We've got 13 all black panels up here, another eight down this other face over here, complete with bird mesh all the way around, keeping our little friend up there out of the way. We've got our two DC isolators up here. We've got our solar PV consumer unit our six kilowatt solar edge PV inverter, and that's paired with a three kilowatt AC coupled give energy inverter and 5.2 kilowatt hour battery. On this one, we've also installed a seven kilowatt single phase Zappi as the customer has an electric car. Also in this one, we've installed a My Energy Eddy. If you want to find out more about what this bit of kit does, leave a comment below. Here's our lovely customer, Stephen. Just gonna have a quick game of pool and chat about how he's getting on with his solar system. What was the reason that you started looking into solar? Started a couple of years ago when we, when we said we was gonna move house that we'd like to do something that was, have a house that we could hopefully run itself. Yeah, if we're gonna go green, we'll get a car as well. And well, that's when you got involved. Go obviously. the full way, whole yeah. shebang. Yeah, absolutely. So, so far it's been installed around four months. Have you noticed any impact, any, any benefits as of yet? Yeah, I mean, obviously over the last four months, as you can see today, a little bit of sunshine, that, that does make a big difference, but we've, um, we've probably sent three quarters of, of what we've actually taken in, we've actually sold to the grid. Okay. So we've, we've, we've saved a lot of money at the moment uh, and charged the car at the same time. So Free motoring? Yeah, at the moment, very pleased. What tariff are you on at the moment? Are you export-wise? You well, earning any, are you earning much out of exporting? Uh, I think last last month, after charging the car, running the house, I think we, we got well over £100 back. Ooh. Oh, he's got lucky. He's got lucky, look at that. <laughs> okay. When we said at the start, or when I maybe said at the start, is the difference between summer and winter yeah. in generation is you know, you probably get a quarter in the winter than what you would in the summer. Yeah. And we've noticed that your self-consumption at the moment is only about a quarter of what you're actually generating. So yes. come the winter, hopefully, it you're will. still pretty much going to be covered. Yeah, it's taking yeah. longer to do, because at the moment, um, I mean, by nine o'clock in the morning, we could be charging the car up. Uh, the batteries have recharged, um, and obviously we're running the house. But yeah, as a... On a rainy day, it does, you can see, it produces a lot less, but it's still enough to run the house. Yeah. Maybe not enough to charge the car through the winter. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect anything different, to be honest. Yeah, nice. How, uh, how often do you find yourself monitoring the system? Um, a lot of customers we get turn into watchers. I say I'm not gonna check every day, but I'm normally on my phone for at least 45 minutes a day checking to see what the system's doing. As soon as I start talking about my solar, <laughs> then they pretend they're off to sleep again, because I'm always going on about the solar and how much it's bringing in. If I forget you on a commission for sales. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll be up for that. Just gonna wrap this game up, and then we'll be on our way to see the next customer. Just to add to the overall soul fuel experience, I'll let Steve win. He's, he's hustled me. Here's Dave. We installed this system back in Feb and we charged £15,200 with an estimated payback of around 10 years. Here we are at Dave's house. He's got a six kilowatt system that we installed around six months ago. Let's go check it out. Similar to the other one, We've got our 3.68 kilowatt solar edge inverter, and that's coupled with a Give Energy 3 kilowatt AC inverter and 5.2 kilowatt hour battery. We've come for a chat with Dave. 
just to see how he's finding the system and get a real world example on how it's actually running. Since it's been installed, how, uh, how are you finding it? Any, any, not any benefits yet? Or? Absolutely, 100%. The money we are actually saving since we've had it installed, well, extremely good. So over the period of time since, what was it, uh, March, beginning of March, we've March, had it running. April, yeah. We've, um, we've had to have £850 refunded back to us. That's mad, that's incredible. Yeah. So compared to last year of July, July 22 was 126.84. Yep. July 10, 23, it's 45p. Yep. That's pretty, <laughs> that's and pretty then, bonkers. Then August last year of 111 pounds 34 to August this year, 1 pound 25. That's just madness, isn't it? Knowing what you know now, if you went back to the start where we were initially talking about a system, mm -hmm. obviously we've gone for a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery here. Would you have opted for a larger one? Do you find that you're exporting quite a lot still through these summer months or? Yes, definitely, yeah. We did discuss, Lynn and I, that we was gonna give it a year and decide in February next year what we're gonna do. But I, th I think if I knew what I knew now, I would have gone for a bigger battery. Go for the bigger one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We find that this battery does does go down quite quickly, especially like, you know, when we've got things like the washing machine running or if we're cooking, you know. So there have been days where we've actually lost the battery, you know, and then we're sort of like trickling off the grid. It's, it's educating yourself how to use it as well. Yeah, so shifting heavier loads yeah. from the evening to perhaps earlier on in the yeah. day, Yeah. whilst the sun's out, whilst exactly. you're charging the battery. Yeah, exactly. When we first met, Obviously, you'd had a few quotes mm -hmm. from other local firms. Mm -hmm. What what was your deciding factor for choosing to go with us as a company over some of the others, others that you had around? You were the fifth company to come in to give us a quote. You sat down with us, you explained it all to us. You gave us options of other systems, what we could use. That was the other thing. We didn't go with your cheapest quote, did we? On a more of a like-for-like -like basis, weren't we, with the others to start with? Yeah. For, for pricing, Yeah. which I believe would have been a just to give energy system, wasn't it, I think? And but then we started talking about the, the optimised, the solar edge. And having the battery with its own um, inverter as well, which sort of uh, swayed us that way, like, you know, and... Uh, but yeah, it was all these little factors, and I mean, by the time you guys left, I mean, you was here for about three hours, you weren't in any hurry to run. It's a few cups of tea. <laughs> a few cups of tea. And uh, yeah, it, it was quite impressive, and we definitely made the right decision. Glad to hear it. Mm. Very happy to hear it. If you were to move house, move into the sticks a bit more, put your feet up, would you go through the whole process again? Absolutely. I'd know the company I would use, and uh, yeah, it would be straightforward, really. But absolutely, I'd have it all again. I love it. You obviously love it. Yeah. So, happy days. Yeah. <laughs>
is about five thousand five and a half thousand pound a year so if, if you're getting that all from the solar panels depends what your usage is i've got yep. a very high usage so summer yes they charge winter i'm having to put it from the grid on cheap rate but um but just the saving on the fuel is five and a half thousand pound and then if you have to pay to get it from the grid it doesn't cost a lot yep. so potentially you're saving perhaps like another two thousand pounds a year on top of no. More, more, more. no, more. It was uh, per uh, two and a half thousand pound per car in fuel savings on an oh. average. That's not doing high mileage. That's not say so that's that's filling if you were to fill your car up every ten yeah. days. So if you took that into account into your overall payback, yep. that five to six years, mm -hmm. would you say it's now going to be? Uh, yeah, it's going to bring it down. Of course it is, absolutely. Um, but obviously there is the cost of the car. People are worried about buying electric cars because. The cost is more, but again, they do pay for themselves because of that, that fuel saving as well, as well as everything else. But yeah, yeah I'm nice. really pleased with the system, really pleased that I, I, I've done it. I'm looking at adding either more panels now, or uh, I've been looking at wind, but wind on a small scale still isn't there yet. So I'll be, I'll probably be adding small panels for so solar's the, the way to go. The short term, yeah, definitely. So it's, it's brilliant. When the sun's shining, full full blast uh, middle of the day yeah there's a lot of excess solar so you want it to go somewhere so i've got the batteries yeah then the batteries charge up in the middle of the summer they're charging in in like four hours and then for the rest of the day you've got all this spare solar so the car chargers i've got smart car chargers which uh detect as soon as um there's excess power and it's going to go back to the grid it switches the car chargers on so it says right we're not going to use yep, the grid, so we'll we're, going to, we're going to use it. Um, and again, if the cars are charged, everything else is done, that's third in line, the hot water tank will switch on. So, yep, so you've got hot water, energy yep. diverter. So it's all of these things is just making sure that you're not, because the biggest benefit is using it yourself. As yep. soon as you send it back to the grid, you get, it's not a lot. You get something, but yep. it's not it's So you not want to store lot. it, use it, yep. maximise your self-consumption. At the start of this video, we asked, is solar and battery worth it in the UK? As you can see from the customers we've seen today, they are already on track to meet, if not beat, their original estimated payback time. If you're looking to invest some money to make a five to 10 year return and also do your bit for the planet, we believe solar is an absolute no brainer. If you've enjoyed or learned something from this video, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you're interested in having solar and battery installed yourself, you'll find our details below.